Erica, he's doing a Gucci. Oh. Hi, lovely people. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, 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 I decided to do a story time. <laughs> this story time of mine was actually inspired by the Silver Ornu. If you have not watched her story time, where she talked about being slapped by, did she say Vugo or what? <laughs> you should go check that video out. That video was hilarious. I laughed throughout the duration of that video. And as I was watching that video, guys, I kind of remembered when I was slapped too. <laughs> I don't know, maybe, I don't know, maybe not all of us, but most of us have been slapped like maybe in one time of our lives, you know? So I got my own slap from my own Vugo. Actually, in my case, it's Goloya that slapped me, man. That guy was huge. He is gigantic, like a very huge man. So what happened is this, you know, back in the days when I was still so very young, you know, I'm still so young though, but when I was still like young, young, you know, I was like, I think I was in my SS2 or SS3 because... I knew I was running up to in secondary school by then. So that side, that period, you know, we used to go uh, for ACM for those that are Anglicans. Um, I personally, I'm not Anglican, I'm Pentecostal. But then we used to go for ACM. So guys, what happened is this. After school one day, I decided to get ready and go for ACM class, you know. There's the one name now. So I just got ready. Well, that day, I didn't know that we don't have... Uh, ACM in our branch we have ACM in another branch that is far from us so I can't go there so I was on, go on getting there to the ACM ground there was nobody there so excuse me so then I remember that oh we didn't have ACM today so I was going back to our house while going back to our house on the road I met like two little young Two, I think two or three of them, young children, they are very, very young, like maybe say three, four, five years old children that is going for ACM. So I met them on the road, they were like, Is the one day, uh, is there no ACM today? I was like, Nimba, ACM address, I'm just coming out, I'm just coming from there, so there is no ACM. And they were like, Oh, they were even actually going there. I was like, You should go back home, there is no ACM today. So I didn't even know. <laughs> I'm a I didn't even know that this children was following me. <laughs> and in our street, our street that period, those, for those that live in Fege, if you know Fege, our street that period, that Silas Works, is um close to the main road. So I have to cross main road to enter my compound. You understand? So I didn't know that this children were following me. So I was just going my own old sister, Lijajajali, as innocent, Machinekembo. Let me cross main road though. I've even finished crossing, going my own thing. What I heard is woo 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 woo. Machine from nowhere jammed these children, the three of them on the floor, yakata, for ground. I was like, how manage? So out of out of the you know, godly mind that I have in me, I even went to help them up. Oh, my brethren. <laughs> I went to help them up. What I heard from nowhere. On my face is doza. Do you know what is doza? Like doza. Doza. Uh -uh. I, I couldn't lift my head up because you know when you bend down and something heavy land on you, before you could hit your head up, I'd get bugo diggy for a few seconds. So guys, I couldn't lift my head up. When I finally lifted my head, looking at the Goliath that slapped me, it was the passenger that the Okada man that jammed the children we was carrying. The passenger... Not even the Akada man. Ah uh ah. -uh. I was like, yay. And I was almost close to my to my to our compound though. I was like, hey, how many is now? You know, you know that kind of tongue that you be talking, your voice will be shaking because you know you are innocent, don't understand. And you also want to cry. But you don't want to cry because in that's our street, like five fine guys are there, you know. Fine guys that be that are chiking me that I don't even send are there. So and they are the one that are even talking for me. <laughs> They were the ones that even that were even speaking my mouth because I could not talk. If I want to talk, my voice would do you know that kind of a feeling. 
I was like, how manage now? Okay, what happened? I was so young then and so innocent. If it is now that that man slaps me, that man would, hey, hey, Jesus, hey, gosh. Mm, I will show that man that I'm a real on the child, babe, but nevertheless, by God is by God. <laughs> so I, I was about to ask him what happened. If I could even talk, say, the man started shouting. It won't matter. He, he don't know that you hold your hands. He's trying to say that I'm, I was I I wanted to cross the road, like the main road with children. I didn't know that I would hold the children by their hands, you know, or something like that. The man did not even know that I am not with these children. Like I am not with them. I don't even know where they live. I didn't even know they were following me. Assuming I knew that they were behind me and they wanted to, to cross the road with me, I would have held them. You know, there's nothing there. I didn't even know. I was just going, oh, minding my own business. Literally. All of a sudden, Goloi had landed a slap on my face. <laughs> Guys, it's already not be here. Even, I could not talk again. If, for me to even explain to the man that they were not with me, like these children, they are not with me. I'm just crossing by myself. I couldn't do it. It was those boys. It was it was those boys on the street that was explaining to the man that no, that this girl lives close to this place and these are not my siblings, like I'm on my own. So guys, this man did not even apologize though. After that, he did not even apologize. I tried to shout at him. I couldn't because I was so young. I think it was, I think, 2012, 2011 kind of incident. I was so young, I couldn't shout at him because cry is in my voice. I am ready to cry. Like, my father have not slapped me like that since in my life. I was so ready to cry, but I don't want to talk because if I talk, I'll start crying. And if I cry, I'll embarrass myself because my admirers are there. So instead of me to cry, I just kept mute and I was walking straight with a heavy slap on my cheek. I was just going straight because of shame, out of shame. I did not enter our compound. I walked past our compound. <laughs> I walked past our compound. I left our compound to walk past our compound. And I was going straight. Tell me where I'm going. Like this, the slab made me like to lose my way. I left my compound that I was supposed to enter. I'm already closed. I left my compound and I was going straight. <laughs> and I was walking straight. The other man uh, with his uh, passenger, they came and drove past me. And I looked at him, I was I was raging, I was like, ah, how I wish. And then I don't have, I don't think I have phone then. I, I was phoneless then, I don't have phone. So that was what happened. I I, I, I trekked to, down to the end of the street, to the end of the street. <laughs> then I turned back again so that those, bo those boys in my street, maybe by then they will be all gone. And I turned back again to enter our house. As I entered our house, my, my mom is not at home. My dad is, because this, this was happening around maybe the evening time. So, like, they are not yet back. So, nobody was at home, basically. It was just me and my younger brother. There was nothing that he could have done. Even if they were at home, the man was gone. There was nothing that he could have done. So, I just endured the slab. Endured the slab. So, when they came back in the evening, I told them what happened, and they were like, you know, my father was was uh, hammering. Hey, who is that man? Who is that? Do, 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 do. My mother was like, who is that man? You make it walk while you're going, can, 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 can. You understand that kind of a thing? My siblings, everybody was just, who is that one that gave you that kind of slap? Like, even my younger one was actually were laughing at me though, because you know, slap on the road, you know, it's, it's quite embarrassing, especially on the face of your admirers. So. My own part of my slap story. I hope this this incident. Actually, I forgot. I've forgiven the man, but each time I remember this incident, like it still pains me to my bone marrow. It's still like even if I see the man today, I may not recognize him. He may not even recognize me. Maybe he will because he's the one that did me bad and he didn't apologize. But if I see him today, I want to recognize him. I've forgotten about it. It's just the video of the silver that I watched that made me to remember about my slap incident. And I'm like, hmm, I'm going to tell my own story. So here you have it, guys. This is my own story. What is the moral of this? The moral of this story is don't go to ACM. <laughs> Ignore me, guys. The moral of this story is don't get slapped, you know. Even something happened that is not your business, just be going, you know. Be going because if I knew that if I didn't go to help those children, nobody would have slapped me. He wouldn't have rushed me to slap me. Is it mad? So, yeah, that's it. The moral of the story is mind your business on a period level. Just 
mind your business be on your own so that is it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this my funny story time although i think it's funny i don't know if it's funny but yeah yeah you have it and i'll see you guys in my next video if you guys have a similar story of all this love story let me know in the comment section down below and until then i'll see you guys next time bye guys